What's happening guys, it's Shane here and today we are going to be going over the science major degree tier list. Alright, so I made one of these last year in early 2020 and a lot has happened since then, obviously. I've also done a lot more research on these degrees and by the way, pretty much every degree in this video I've done a dedicated video to. Uh, so you can check those out if you want more statistics or more of a deep dive on each of these individual degrees. Definitely check that out. It's on my channel. But we are going to get right into this one, guys. As soon as you gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell, and then comment down below which degrees you think are going to be the best. So starting right off the bat, we are gonna do this video super fast, guys. Aerospace Science and Aeronautics. So this is a degree that you might get if you wanted to become a rocket scientist. Obviously not a super common degree, but I thought it was funny. Um, the statistics on this one are amazing. Probably not everybody can do it, but this one is going to go into S tier. Next one is going to be an agriculture degree, and this is going to be the science behind farming. I have potato blood in my veins. Statistics on this one are not very good, and there's a reason for that. In my opinion, farming is one of those skills where it's pretty difficult to learn it in the classroom. There are many skills in the world that are perfect for the classroom setting for you to learn, Farming is not one of them, and that's why the statistics on this one are not amazing. But with that being said, they're also not horrible. This one is going to land into C tier. One that is uh, very similar to agriculture, but slightly different, uh, is going to be a little lower on the list, is going to be animal science. So this is going to be similar to you know farming, but it's going to be focused on animals, right? So specifically animals that people tend to consume. Uh, we're talking about cows, poultry, pork, etc. And this one has a very similar issue where these are the types of skills that are just best learned in real life on the job training and the statistics on this one are even worse than agriculture so for that reason it's going to go into d tier next one on the list is going to be biochemistry and this is basically a combination of chemistry and biology so it's basically going to be studying the chemistry inside of living organisms now when it comes to the statistics on this one it's going to be better than both chemistry or biology and it's also more flexible there's a lot more jobs out there you can get with this degree it also also makes a really good pre-med or pre-health type degree. So for instance, you might get a biochemistry degree, go to medical school, maybe you go become a PA or a nurse practitioner. So this one has pretty good statistics. I'm going to go ahead and put it into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be biology on its own. This one has a lot less flexibility, a lot less job prospects. Um, it doesn't make as much. And on top of that, the thing that really sucks is it's a very popular degree. And unfortunately, when something gets really popular, the downside to that is it also can tend to get saturated. So biology is actually one of the most common degrees that people graduate with. And in my opinion, one of the most overrated. So, you know, 10, 20 years ago, this one might've been higher on the list, but right now this one is going to go into C tier. And the reason for that is because a lot of the time you're not going to be able to get a job with just a bachelor level degree that has anything to do with biology. And if you you are able to get a job that has to do with biology, it's usually going to be very low paying. But with that being said, if you're very passionate about something, you know what you're doing, you've done your research and you've looked ahead, this one can still be okay, it can be viable. Next on the list is going to be a chemistry degree and it has better statistics than a biology degree, but not quite as good as biochemistry. So this one is going to be going right in the middle in B tier. And again, guys, don't have time on this video to go over the numbers, but the main things that I talk about in my other videos of course are going to be salary, job satisfaction, how many jobs are actually available, and then other X factors. Next on the list is going to be environmental studies. This is one that unfortunately does not have very good statistics. There just aren't that many jobs out there that are available. Not to say that it's not a valuable skill, but it's not necessarily an employable skill. I think a lot of people would be better off if they're really passionate about this subject, which a lot of people are, getting an environmental engineering degree instead. So this one, um, I guess I'll be nice and put it into C tier. Next on the list is going to be exercise science. And this is another one that is very, very popular. Lots of people every single year graduate with an exercise science degree, and many of them become personal trainers. The only problem with that is you do not need a degree to become a personal trainer. And I'm not saying that that's right or wrong. Maybe you should need a degree. Maybe there would be a lot less injuries out there of people who try to work out 
without you know proper guidance but the unfortunate reality is you don't and so for that reason an exercise science degree when it comes to an employable skill is a little bit redundant and that's why the statistics on this one are not very good um, this one is going to go into d tier next on the list is going to be food science and this one is actually surprisingly useful there are a lot of jobs out there in the food industry for people who have food science degrees the statistics on this one are pretty good the only thing that I would say is a lot of the time you can get the same exact jobs as somebody who graduates with a food science degree if you graduated with a biochemistry degree or a chemistry degree. However, biochemistry and chemistry are going to be much more flexible than food science. But I'm kind of nitpicking there. This one does have pretty decent statistics. And so for that reason, it's going to go into B tier. Next on the list is going to be forestry. And this is going to be studying, you know, how to not only preserve forests, but to utilize the wood in an efficient manner that doesn't basically destroy whatever ecosystem that wood comes from. A lot of jobs and involved in forestry are going to be you know outside all day which can be extremely attractive to certain people but the numbers here again are not amazing um, they're also not horrible so this one is going to go right in the middle in C tier. Next on the list is going to be geography. This is going to be studying primarily the surface of the earth as well as its history. And when you look at the numbers on this one, it's actually not that bad. Now, one of the main reasons why the numbers are pretty good is much of the time people who get ge uh, geology degrees will end up working in the natural gas industry. Natural gas industry is known for paying people really well. But the other thing about natural gas and just energy industry in general is it is extremely volatile and it fluctuates all the time so for instance this last year the pandemic absolutely destroyed natural gas companies now they are starting to recover um, and it's looking up a little bit uh, so for that reason i am going to go ahead and put this one into b tier actually you know what it's recovering pretty well i'm going to go ahead and put geology into a tier if i'm being fair the numbers for geology are pretty good and there's other jobs outside of the natural gas industry it is a relatively flexible degree next one on the list is going to be neuroscience and you're going to be studying probably the most complicated structure in the entire universe which is the human brain and this focuses more on the structure and function of the physical brain itself whereas you know something like psychology uh, focuses more on the kind of like the social science aspect of it now one thing about neuroscience is i think this is one where the numbers are okay right now, but it could be a lot better in the future. I think there's a lot of things coming out. You know, you see Elon Musk with his Neuralink company, for instance. You see a lot of stuff with virtual reality, augmented reality. And I do see a lot of things coming down the pipeline that would make a neuroscience degree incredibly valuable. But it's not quite here yet. So this is one where I think it could be a dark horse candidate. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier, but it could end up being a tier or honestly it could also end up being like c or d tier this is kind of a dark horse candidate i really don't know what's going to happen with this one next on the list is going to be physics and when it comes to the numbers this one is the best on the entire list by far uh, this one is clearly going to go into uh, s tier i will say about physics it's probably the most difficult degree that you can possibly get the average person is basically a genius uh, i talked about this in the video i went over where i talked about the hardest degrees so yeah physics when you look at the numbers it's fantastic um, the only thing that's a little bit of a knock to it is again you know very difficult and then the second thing is it's going to teach you skills, but they're not necessarily employable skills. Now, the thing is, companies are going to know that you're extremely smart and extremely hardworking. So they're probably going to hire you anyways, even though you don't necessarily have the talents that they're specifically looking for. But a lot of companies have this uh, concept or this way of hiring where they basically just try to hire their smartest people and then they think that they can just train them later on. You see, this is very common in the finance industry, for instance. So a lot of people who graduate with uh, physics degrees might end up working in finance or they might end up working uh, as computer programmers, software developers. But yeah, this one is clearly going to go into S tier when it comes to science degrees. Next one on the list is going to be psychology. And this is one where you could classify it as like a science degree or a social science degree. I believe this is actually the most popular degree. Over 100,000 people graduate with psychology degrees every single year. And so because of that, it is very saturated. And I can see why so many people like it. It's very interesting 
interesting. Psychology is super interesting. But the problem is, is a lot of other people think the same thing. And so it's become saturated. There is almost no jobs at the bachelor level. You pretty much have to get like a master's degree just to get like an entry level job. And a lot of the time you're gonna have to get a doctorate just to be able to get a halfway decent job. And even then there's a lot of competition. Okay, so you really wanna look into it if you get this degree, guys. You have to, have to, have to do your research and figure out uh, a path for yourself if you decide to get a psychology degree. So overall, this one is going to go into D tier. Now, I reserved one for F tier and that is basically these like, random science degrees. It's like they just take a random subject and then they just put the word science on the end of it. So I'll give you a few examples. Wildlife and fisheries science, mortuary science, library and information science. Now some of these to be fair, aren't necessarily science degrees. They just kind of like tack that word on to make it sound good. I, I honestly don't even know why universities call it that. But a lot of these have literally the worst statistics out of all the degrees on this list, right? Out of all the degrees on like any list, these things have horrible, horrible statistics. The numbers are awful for these. Don't fall for this, guys. Um, be very careful. Make sure you do your research if you go into any degree. Um, if it sounds weird, like they just kind of tacked science onto the end of the degree, that's a bit of a red flag. Um, you see this with uh, other degrees like studies or engineering technology. Just be very careful out there. You know, college is a business at the end of the day, guys. So, you know, these universities, it seems like sometimes they just... Uh, create degrees just to meet certain demand. Um, and these degrees don't necessarily teach you employable skills. So yeah, this one is clearly going to go into F tier. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, if you haven't done it already, tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, etc. that you have on the video, especially if you're someone who has graduated with some of these degrees. Let me know what you think of my list, and I will see you guys in the next video.